I had just uploaded a video on how I'm doing darning on a pair of jeans. Um, and in the video just a moment ago, I was using the white family rotary. And the um, areas that need to be fixed on the other leg of the jeans are really too far down on the leg. Um, so I got the brother with the free arm um, set up, and you would think this would be 100% easier. And the reason I'm making this video is because it isn't really. It's not all that different from the antique machine. Now, this um, there are a lot more pins, and all I'm doing now is really tacking... Um, getting some basic stitch lines in that I can then go back and fill in. Um, but it isn't that much different from what I was doing on the White Family Rotary. So it's faster. And I can use reverse like that. But the, the issue, um, the free arm makes it a little bit easier. But the issue is really moving the hoop around, avoiding all the pins you have to have in place. And it's not that much different. This is not, um, it's not like that was really difficult on the other machine and this is all of a sudden easy. It, it still takes time and patience and maneuvering. Um, so don't give up on antique machines. And don't assume that new machines are always going to be easier. It is a little bit easier because of the, the leg of the pants and it was um, so far down. But not enough to really make a big difference. And also with the brother, um, I don't know if it's all of the brothers, but this particular one um, gets a little bit finicky like with how it releases the thread and stuff like that, you don't have that problem on the White Family Rotary. So there's just a little bit of it with the brother. Um, not 100% easier than with an antique machine.